Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss difference between haplosufficient and haploinsufficient. Haplo, haplo means single. Sufficient means enough. So when a single copy of a particular allele of a gene is sufficient or enough to express its phenotype, then it will be called haplosufficient. When single copy of particular allele of a gene is sufficient to express its phenotype. So let's understand this with the example. Suppose we have capital T, capital T, and we know that its phenotype will be tall. So here we have two copy of a particular allele. Allele is capital T. So here we have two copy. But when we have one copy, suppose this, this condition here capital T and small t. So here we have only single allele. Capital T is single and we know that its phenotype is tall. So here this single allele is expressing its phenotype and causing tallness. So in that case this L capital allele will be called haplosufficient. So here you can see that when it is single in case of heterozygous condition another allele is small t. So this is single and this is expressing itself and this is causing its phenotype. So this will be called haplosufficient. In case of haploinsufficient, similarly haplo means single, insufficient means not enough. So when a single allele of a particular gene is not sufficient or enough to express itself. Means here the requirement is of two allele to express its phenotype. In that case, it's, when it is single, it will express itself. Suppose, here I am taking example, small t and small t. It is causing dwarfness. So here you can see that two alleles are present and these, if alleles are two, then they are expressing itself. But when condition is this, here you can see that small t is a single allele in that case another allele is capital T. So in that case the phenotype will be tallness. So here this allele cannot express itself because a single copy of it is present. So when a single copy look at the definition when a single allele of a particular gene so this is single is not sufficient to express itself. So it will not express itself. It will be called haplo insufficient. So when a single copy of any gene is present and it will express itself, for example, capital T, then it will be called haplosufficient. But when single copy is unable to express itself, it will express itself when there are two copies. So here in that case you can see that here is two copy, kept small t and small t. It will express itself, it will cause, it will cause dwarfness. But when one allele is present here, capital T and small t, so single allele is present there, here it is unable to express itself. So it will be called haploinsufficient.